Hello and welcome back to The Good, The Bad and The Ugly Show. Now today, we're going to take a little look at the history of D Wolf. D Wolf Limited are a British music production company who have become known as the originator of the concept known as library music. Music from their library has been used in a large variety of films and TV series such as Monty Python, Dawn of the Dead, Death Wish, Emmanuel, Spitting Image, Top Gear and Doctor Who, to name but a few. Founded in London by Dutch musician Meyer de Wolf in 1909 and began its movie soundtrack recording in 1927 with the invention of talkies. Examples from this time can be heard on films such as The Rat, 1925, and The Policeman's Holiday, 1931. Throughout the 30s, they created soundtracks for newsreels such as Pafé News and British Movie Turn. The company carried on this way throughout the Second World War, but also continued to make music for movies such as Edward My Son in 1948. <coughs> Voice has gone all weird. There. After the Second World War, they teamed up with a North American company from Paramount Pictures and in 1955 provided the music for the first television commercial in the UK for Gibbs Toothpaste. So, to keep your teeth white as snow, your gums really healthy and your breath really fresh, see your dentist regularly and brush with SR, the tingling fresh toothpaste for teeth and gums. Gibbs SR. Throughout the 60s, they distributed 10-inch vinyl records, which have now become sought-after collector's items. They also provided music for a number of episodes of Doctor Who. From 1967 to 1978, the band The Pretty Things recorded five albums for Dee Wolf under the name Electric Banana. Some of this music can be heard in the movie Dawn of the Dead. And the Doctor Who story, The Green Death. In 1973, the theme music for Van der Vork called Eye Level became a million selling number one single, spending six weeks in the UK charts. Throughout the 70s, they continued to score films such as Zeta One and Adventures of a Taxi Driver. Taxi! Adventures of a Taxi Driver, Certificate X, at ABC and other leading cinemas. In 1985, Dee Wolf launched the DW CD collection, becoming the first digital production music library. They also ended their vinyl series in 1988. They eventually ended their production of CDs in 2014, becoming a completely digital online-based company. It was a fantastic compilation from 2004 released by Trunk Records that first tweaked my interest in D-Wolf. The album was called The Unreleased Soundtrack Music from George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Of course, I realise at this point that every time I make a video and I mention George A. Romero, I always say George A. Romero. I don't know why I do it, it's just something. It just rolls out that way. I can't explain it. This gave us all that fantastic music that was absent from the Goblin album, such as The Gonk. Cosmogony and Sun High, which came from a fantastic album from 1976 by the Blue Wing Consul's Simon Park. Another album from 2010 titled Top Dog is also a perfect introduction to the D-Wolf library. So I highly recommend giving this stuff a listen. You might even recognise music from your favourite movie. And please like, share and subscribe to The Good, The Bad and The Ugly Show. Because there's no room left in here.